What's up, everyone? This is Ronnie coming to you today. I'm gonna do um, something I haven't really done it in a while, and that's just gonna show you a haul video um, over some stuff we probably picked up over the last, I'm gonna say, two weeks or so. I've been finding a lot of good stuff of late. Um, and just. Mm -hmm. Just had an offer. But we'll look at that in a few minutes. So we got a lot of good stuff. We're going to go over. I think I listed all this stuff um, the other day. Saturday, Sunday mornings, early Monday morning, and then through uh, yesterday. What was yesterday? What's today? Wednesday. So Thursday. So we listed Sunday, Monday, and uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I listed probably around, don't have a number in front of me, about 50 things, maybe a little bit more. Somewhere around $7,500 or so was the price of everything listed. So I'm going to get into it. Our eBay account is actually doing quite well. I think in general, our account is up from last 30 days, like 250% or so. And we're almost even with what we did last year, which is good because our account all year has been um, below standard. And it's been really kind of hard to get um, to where we were last year. So I'm going to get over some of the stuff. A lot of it's going to be uh, sport coat and suit related. Um, but there's a few other things here that we have. And I'll go over what we got and what we're hopefully going to sell it for. But uh, this is one thing we picked up. It's a white, it's a men's white uh, Ralph Lauren purple label. See right there, purple label. Has like the script style or whatever you want to call it there. Pick this up. It's very clean for a white shirt. Most white shirts are not clean. It's French cuff. And it has this cutaway collar. It's uh, actually called a uh, Keaton collar. And just a really nice clean white shirt. Was into this, I think, for two or three dollars. And I got it listed for like, it'll probably sell for around $60, I'm hoping. Uh, and then we listed these two together, the same exact shirt. You see right there, 17 and a half, 33. This is actually a 17 and a half, too. We got these all at the same store. So could be maybe the same person's shirt. I don't know. These are two Brooks Brothers shirt, just non iron. It's regular blue shirts. Pick these up for $5 each. They're actually new without tags. I had part of the tags on them, but I took it off just because it looked cheesy. Um, hoping to get 50 plus for these. This is another one, same shirt, but this one is new with tags. I kind of got these wrapped up already. I wasn't actually going to do a video, but um, I'm free for like a half hour, maybe an hour before uh, Wifey comes home. So this is the same thing, 17 and a half. The sleeve length is 33, non-iron. Just your uh, basic uh, Brooks Brothers shirt, but it was new with tags, five bucks, hopefully to get 40 plus for that. Um, let me see. How you doing, everybody in the chat? I see Dawn, Bumcrack, Picka, um, Lonnie, Swamp Picker, Girl on Fire. Hope you all doing well. So we're going to keep it moving. This is a, can't really say, it's a thin wool sweater jumper. And it's made by the brand Suit Supply. Suit Supply is a really good brand. It's a recent company. Um, stuff actually sells good. I just sold a suit today for 200 and something dollars from them. Uh, some guy is going to wear it in his wedding. Pretty cool. But it's wool. I paid five bucks for it, and it probably will sell $30, $40. Cashmere will sell a little bit better. Cotton will sell a little bit worse. Found this. This was four bucks at a Savers. This is an Orvis, and it's like a fishing shirt, but you want to see the size on that. It is three extra tall. Bigger shirts sell. I just sold a Columbia shirt that was 4X. Um, and I think we got 34 or 32 plus shipping. So like 35. So I'm hoping to get around the same for this. We charge shipping. So 
paid for. Anything over 30 would be happy. I don't even know what we have it listed for. It's either 40 or 50. I don't remember. Got a camera lens here. Paid three bucks for this. The Canon. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's really good condition. It was $2.99. I got this with this at the same savers. That was all I got that day when I went there. Um, we had family in town, so we didn't really do nothing for like two weeks. So this is kind of the stuff I listed. Just stuff we picked up, hoarded it, listed it. Uh, this camera lens really not worth much. Maybe $25, $30 on a good day. But 3 bucks, still going to make money. Not really that big of an issue. Got some pants. This is a pair of, uh, it's like a linen, 100% linen. See right here. The brand is Hugo Boss. You see right there in the lining says Hugo Boss. These have an incredibly long inseam. The inseam on these are 36. I usually don't really pick up too much uh, Hugo Boss stuff anymore, but these were nice. These are linen. 100% linen, got a nice color, no flaws. And like I said, they have a really long inseam. They're 34 by 36. And these are just what we had to offer on for $39. I counted at 44. I think I got a list at 50. Hopefully they sell. Hopefully I didn't curse myself. Paid five bucks for these. Um, let me see here. All right, these are a pair of suit trousers. These were gray. These were $4. I got a lot of stuff at one thrift store over a few days. Seemed like some the same person donated all their stuff. This is Helmeldo Zildo Zegna. Uh, trans seasonal pants. They're wool. And this is the more recent um, Zegna tag. This is kind of like the current tag they have. Let's see, the, this would be the tag and the suit. This went to a 42 regular suit. You can see, has all this information here. But uh, still gonna sell. Somebody's gonna buy these. These are like four bucks. Probably get somewhere around 40 ish, is what I'm hoping for. Um, what else do we have here? This is a brand, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, it's C A S T A N G I A. I'll put it in the chat. Um, wait if you guys want to look at it. There's not too many of these listed on eBay. I've known about this brand in the past and have picked up a blazer by this brand once before. It's made in Italy. Once again, these are trouser pants, uh, they're black. See the the brand right here, and there you have the, the, this one has a tag on the inside here. See right here, this one. If it's um, let's actually see who it's made for. A mic, something or another, but it's made with one. Where is it now? Oh. 160s wool, see right there. 160 wool, the higher the thread count in the wool, the better. This would have went into a really nice suit. Most suits are wool, and then you have some that are like, um, once you get to the super wools, the value definitely goes up. Then we have, we got eight pairs of these pants. And once again, I'm going to have a problem. They don't have, um, no tags on the inside other than I could see in the waistband the logo, which I knew what brand it was. Um, they just have this red, like, coral thing. And the brand is Izia. Is I, I, I was talking to Krillin. Krillin knows exactly how to pronounce it. I'm pronouncing it probably crazy. You know what? We're going to ask Google how to pronounce this one. Because I don't know. Let's see here, let's let's talk with Google. Google is going to tell us how to pronounce this word. 
Ooh, how you pronounce this? Isaiah. Isaiah. There we go. Isaiah. Whoops, I'm in the wrong chat. There we go. I'm on the wrong. There's no other labels in the pants here. I found, I wind up finding um, eight pairs of these. I brought one to the dry cleaners, had a little spot. It was a light color pair of pants. They're all different patterns. This one has a very, it's almost like a micro check. It's blue. It's like a blue and black, maybe a gray and black. Let's see, it's going to be impossible to see. But uh, it winds up being eight of these. Like I got seven on eBay now. They're currently listed for $99. See, we're just going to go. They're all different colors. These belong to trousers. They're all 160s wool. I mean, they belong to a suit. The suits never came out. Um, maybe somebody else picked them up. I don't see them on eBay. Um here again just all different kinds and colors this is a really nice blue this will do well blue ones seem to do better grays and browns seem to do worse um no flaws in any of this stuff they're all really nice different colors i think one's missing a pants pocket button they were all four dollars each between three and four dollars each. Then I picked up uh, one, two, four pairs of these Brooks Brothers pants. They're different colors. There was a few others, and I left them behind because um, I just don't like the colors of the pants. But these are a newer Brooks Brothers. These were made in the fall of 2016. So right there, Brooks Brothers and the Madison fit their wool, and their 3430s. These are not by the same person. They were four dollars each, different colors. It's right here. Got a... These are not huge run, uh, huge sellers, but like four dollars, I'll get thirty dollars plus plus shipping on these. So really not bad at all on the trousers. So we're through with pants here. We're getting to some of the other things, a few sweaters and some suits, stuff like that. My average sale price on eBay right now is pushing um, like $70. So really been doing and pushing harder for harder selling things, things that sell faster. Like I said, the startup video, are, are, we're up like 250% from last month. And I think we're only down 2% from last, last year, this same 30 days. So really doing good. This was a $5 fine. It's a full zip sweater new with tags. Brand is Pendleton. It's a newer Pendleton. Um, it's two extra large. So, I mean, a few different things. All wool sweater, big size, new with tags, five bucks. Probably 60 plus dollars, I'm hoping, on that. Um, let see where put this. This is a Orvis. Really nice Orvis vest. It's tweed. It's a nice green herringbone tweed. It has these nice little buttons. See right here. It's like a shooting vest. Really nice. Um, see the brand right there. Orvis. It's a wool blend. It's also, I think it's also made in with this other company. I think this other company is partially owned by Orvis or owned by Orvis. Lakeson. I did see some vests made by Lakes and they're all um, mostly over in uh, UK eBay. So I put this up. It's up for like one, 130 or something like that. I paid 10. Really nice vest. If you want to the website right now, and try to find this the same vest is up there a little bit different but they're asking they're saying retail is four hundred dollars on this which is crazy um so that was a nice find hopefully this will move fairly quickly this time of year this is a suit this is a suit we paid fifteen dollars for this here's the pants right here it's like a charcoal gray uh 
Find out a place to put stuff. Got a seat so I can swivel around and throw it on the seat. So here's the jacket right here. The two button front and the brand is it's a Canali right there. It's not the newest Canali or anything like that, but it's pretty recent, probably within the last 10 years. Really nice jacket, paid 15. I was kind of happy when I got it, saying it should be a size 50, doing the measurements, it's more 48. Um, most of the time on suit jackets, you measure the pit to pit, double it, subtract two for a suit. Sport coat, you want to subtract three to four. Um, and that's usually how things fit. Sport coats and blazers are supposed to be a little bit bigger, so men can wear sweaters or things under them, have some movement. Suits are made to be tighter. So uh, that being said, that's probably a $200 or so suit, hopefully. We got this. This was, I think it was 7 bucks. I got it because it had a really nice print to it. So you got brown check with this different color window pane. And this is a brand. It's either hit or miss. But uh, it should do well. Hart Schaffner Marks. Made in USA. It's more recent. This was made in 2013. And it's 100% wool. And it, once again, it's a bigger size, 48 uh, regular, which is good. How you doing, Oak Bridge Picker? Hope all is well. Um, let me see. This I kind of got, and after I came home with it, I was like, nah, probably shouldn't have picked it up. But I didn't. I don't really tend to look stuff up too much in stores, so I kind of get burned sometimes. But this is a it's a wool and silk blend because he's nice like enamel crest buttons. Really nice, really nice blue blazer, actually. Um, i seen some of these new selling for on eBay, but not this size. This had 42 regular. And the brand is, where's the brand? It's the brand of our president. But uh, Donald Trump, Signature collection. I think these are like $400. You can get them at Macy's new um, It was seven bucks. I took a chance on the suits are doing real. I mean the ties are doing really well So I thought nah, you know what maybe the suit jacket will do well I don't care about the guy when I don't care anything about the guy. I'm just caring about selling stuff and putting food in my pocket Wait money in my pocket food on my table. You know what I'm saying, right? Pick this up. This was like seven bucks. This is a uh, Banana Republic. It's a velour or uh, it's cotton material, but uh, velour, I guess. It's new with tags. And size 42 regular, which is pretty common. 42 regular is probably the most common size you'll see. Cotton 42 is like a medium. So. A lot of that stuff, I don't even, you know, just a nice jacket, decent brand, seven bucks. Would I picked it up if it was used? Hell no. But because it is new, I picked it up. If you guys have any questions, just ask away in the chat while I'm going through this. This has a really nice print also. It's a tweed material. Tweed wool is that scratchy wool have a scratchy feel to it. And uh, this is Scottish cloth. You can see right there. And uh, I've done really well with this. We find this a lot up here. Velvet. That's it. That's it, Brian. Velvet. Velour. It's like the same thing, right? I think. I don't know. But uh had that really nice soft feel to it. This is the Andover Shop. It's actually a store. They make clothes for like Southwick and um, or they make they have Southwick uh, J Press. 
Brooks Brothers, and then they have their own private stuff, which I've done fairly well. I've sold a few of their sport coats. Um, I don't buy everything by them. If I find something different and unique, I will buy it. This being that nice tweed material should do well. They seem to go with the same kind of people that buy that kind of uh, Brooks Brothers, J Press kind of stuff. This is a Canali men's blazer. I try. I don't usually pick up too much of these, but I like the pattern. Someone I thought it had a decent pattern to it. Nice little herringbone with a window pane or whatever they call it. Puppy tooth. I don't know. I, I'm not up on all my stuff. I know how to sell the stuff, but there's the tag Canali. Another thing you want to remember with their tags, you'll see right here. It says 50 regular. 50 regular in most European sizes are subtract 10. So it's actually a 40 regular. Um, and that's it. Page seven. Probably get about 60 bucks for this. Maybe 50. It's kind of, like I said, it's a smaller size. 40 regular. Will take a little bit longer to sell usually. But uh, still not bad. And we still got we got we got some crazy things coming up later in this video. So just keep watching. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. Just trying to show you little tricks and things while we're going through this. Uh, this was a really nice. It's like green and black check pattern. Really nice, and it has what they call working cuffs or. Um, working cuffs, uh, surging cuffs, they unbutton. And you can see here, they unbutton. A lot of these brands do, or some brands do this. To get this, I know to get this at like a Brioni jacket, it's like 250 extra dollars to get uh, these cuffs. So depending on the brand of jacket, it can do really well because not a lot of brands will have it. This brand, you'll be hard pressed to find. Um, the hell's the tech? But once again, it's Hart Schaffner Marks, their gold trumpeter, trumpeter collection. This is 100% wool. It's made recent 2013. But you can see the color on this is going to do well. And with the working cuffs and the size, too, it's a 48 regular. Really should do well. Made USA. What's up, Dallas? How you doing? No. Come on, bandwagon. Come on, son. Celtics, we live just south of Boston. Like, I like the, I like the Celtics when Dino Rogers running up and up and down the court with a cigarette in his mouth. And they suck because ML, ML Carr was that coach. Another Canali jacket. This is a little bit larger. Once again, it says 56 regular. Uh, it's actually a 46 regular. This one I had to pay to get dry clean because it was a wrinkled mess. But you can see it has this nice little print to it. I'll pick them up occasionally if they have nice prints and so on and so forth. But uh, $7 plus the, I think it was 6 bucks to dry clean. And then when we picked up, I picked up this. This was, I think, 6 or 7 You see it has a really nice print. It has like a gray and black check, and then it has this blue window pane to it. Really nice looking jacket. I mean, and this is not really that great of a line or anything, but I'm hoping the pattern sells it more than anything. It's Brooks Brothers. It's their, uh, what do you want to call it? Their outlet line, 346. It's a 42 small, 100% wool. but. It does have a great pattern to it. And I was going back and forth with a buyer yesing on best offer. And let's say he, he was not willing to offer more than 45, and he did not get it. Um now we're getting into some of the nicer suits. This is once again, I love patterns on suits. I love checks, I love things. This is a Two button, I mean a two piece suit has the pants. You see the print on this. 
really nice brown. You don't usually see suits like this all that well, but really nice. It's an older style uh, Brooks Brothers. Probably mid 2000s, 10, 12 years ago, but really nice. Uh, and I'll show you the jacket right here. Here's the jacket. But like I said, the print is really nice on this. Someone's going to want this. It's made in Italy. And uh, see right here, it's just a plain old Brooks Brothers. Then we look at the size. The size is a 42. You can tell this is part of a suit because right here they put 42, 37. 37 would have been the waist, size short. F4 was probably... Fall of 2004, most likely. It's wool. But what also helps this jacket is that it's made with Laurel Piana fabric, which is good. Anytime you find anything with Laurel Piana fabric, it does help increase the value of it. And then if you find Laurel Piana as a standalone brand as it is, it's very nice. Brooks Brothers does make some stuff that is uh, made in England. Some of their... 818 line is made in England, also the U.S. Um, then they have the black uh, fleece line. They also have the golden fleece line, which is made to order. Um, so we'll see. Sarah Greeny was a better Celtic because he won a championship there. Wool sells well in U.K. U.K. is wet and cold, so I would be thinking a lot of people would be buying uh, – some of those product go Celtics. Celtics are going all the way this year. You watch the Celtics last night; they did incredibly well with their two best players not even showing up. This is a really nice pair of pants. I paid twenty dollars for these. These are a uh, chalk line. I, I want to say probably pinstripe. These are the pants, and I found a bunch of these, so you might be in for a little bit of a video. You seen on Instagram, you would have seen it. And here we go. This is Brioni. It's made for Neiman Markets, and it's also with super super 150s wool. This is really nice. I expect probably to get around 500 bucks for this. And probably will try to hold out for that. So holding out and then we found basically the same pair but in blue once again has that truck line stripe this goes back this was all the, now these i found all together over a few days at one store and i kept on going back to that store <laughs> the stuff was there once again see nice little blue i want to say that's a chalk line they call it um and what we got here we got Brioni again. This is newer Brioni labels or more current. And you can see right here, super 160s wool, finer wool, really nice jacket. Um, and then the model, and they'll tell you the size, model. And on the back of the tag, it usually tells you the material. We have, we have, we found three suits that day. I only have two of them here. One I had to get dry clean and it was wool and silk blend which is pretty nice a lot of the these things are blends and stuff like that but uh here's another really nice pair of uh pants see what these they have a blue and black uh houndstooth very small houndstooth pattern see the pants here's the jacket paid ten dollars for this and all, all the Brioni and this one, they all have the, uh, you know, like I said, the working cuffs. Added feature, it does add um, value to the jacket. Some people like that. This brand is Corneliani. This is a more recent uh, one from them. It is a 42 regular, and it's made with 110 super fine wool you can see right there 
52, 42 in US. Once again, another angles made suit. Really nice quality suit. These tend to go all over the place. Um, but if you have a nice one, and I have had some really nice ones in the past, if you kind of stick to your price a little bit, they will eventually sell for it. Um, you know, so you just have to um, wait for it. Uh, let me see. What's up, Steve and Steph? How you guys doing? A lot of people from England in the chat today. It's pretty cool. We're going, me and the wife have talked about, I think we're going to England next June. And actually my Yankees, my Yankees, the Yankees are playing the Red Sox, two games. I plan on going to a game. So my wife is on trying to do that. So this is a really nice jacket once again. See this really has a pattern inside a pattern. Really cool. You can tell these are more recent. These are actually... Wait, hold on. I need my friend to help me out with this one. Where are you? Isaiah. Isaiah, because I forgot. Isaiah, see right there, newer tag. You can see right here has that logo. That's how I knew the other pants were, even though they weren't tagged with the name. The logo matches up and everything like that. These have these really nice mother of pearl buttons. Really nice. All these jackets, I, I think, cost it somewhere like six to eight bucks. But uh, these will do really good. These will do north of $200 probably. And here's another one. Once again, just a really nice pattern of gray with like a darker gray and a blue just really catches your eye these patterns you could tell newer style jackets from older style jackets kind of by the prints kind of by the styling of the jacket and isaiah and then they also have on the in the inside here when they were made these were made in 2013 let's see right here these were all custom made at a shop all these brioni and Isaiah were all custom made for somebody by uh, Intel, even the Cordoniliani, because they all say Mr. Sid, except for the Neiman Markets one. They're all made at this Mr. Sid, which I Googled, and there's two stores in Boston, and they have these brands, and he must have went there and dropped some crazy money because retail on these, I mean, like the Brioni, you're looking at probably – with the super fine wools, you're probably looking at four to six thousand dollars for those suits. New, I mean, these sport coats right here were probably twenty-five, three thousand dollars. These are one forties wool. You like this wool blends? That's for sure. And higher end wool. Once again, we have a, ni a nice another one. This is. A Brioni, actually. Nice pattern. Once again, it catches your eye. It's not coming through. It's like a gray pattern and uh, just really nice jacket. But once again, it's Brioni. And this one is a wool and silk blend. I know. This is just 100% wool. I lied. I lied. But really nice. Really nice buttons and everything. Should do really well. Let me see here. Then we have this is like a I think it's black. This is black. This belonged to a suit, but I got it anyway. Cause like I said, all these were kind of cheap. And once again, it has a really nice this nice lot lining but it's a brioni and this one actually has super 180s wool I wish i had the pants for these would do a lot better um probably the jacket's only going to go for like 150 bucks probably maybe i can get 200 on a good day somebody really has to have it but suit jackets really don't do that well um without the pants
And this one's blue. So this one may be able to pass. It's a dark blue in color. Kind of hard to see. And it has the mother of pearl buttons. So you could kind of pass this off as a blazer. Once again, this is wool. Um, yeah, Brioni. I think it was just straight wool. Oh, this one's untagged. Really weird how some of them are tagged, some of them are not. But they all measured to be. It's weird. This person must have been 42 to a 46. Then we have here some more pants. And these are gray. Once again, our friend. Somehow I forgot to say how, how to say our friend's name. Isaiah. Isaiah. I'm going to try to catch them. I'm trying to remember this one. But this one, and this comes with the suit. Um, let me see. Suit jacket. So this was a two-piece suit, which is always good. Once again, has the... The working cuffs. And this is 160s wool. So these are actually really nice. Isaiah. A little bit different of a label, but nevertheless, good stuff. Got the same one in blue. Same exact thing, Isaiah, just blue now. And really nice, higher end. Gonna go for some good money. The suits will probably sell between two to three hundred. One of them had a bunch of cracks on the or chips on the uh, buttons, so we'll see how that does. No, I didn't find all this on one saucing trip. It was between like two weeks just going out, but a lot of it came from one store over a course of a week. You can see this right here. This has a really nice pattern. Once again, all these seem to have really nice patterns. And this one was, once again, our friend Brioni. And this is 100% cashmere. This will do really well. Probably, if I had to guess, 250-ish. And this was probably a, probably a jacket that cost like $3,500 new. Pretty crazy when you think about how much... This person literally spent on clothes. Once again, really nice pattern. Some truck is backing up outside. No idea. But really nice pattern. And this is Brioni. This one was a... Wool and 10% cashmere, which is really nice. Nice selling point. Probably get $200 or so-ish around these. I've really had trouble selling Brioni of late for some reason. But with the newer jackets, I think it will be really easier. This pattern, I love this jacket. This jacket was really nice. And I just love the pattern. If, like, this was a jacket... I would wear or something like that. I mean, it's just really nice. Like I could see you walking around. It's brown with those that check and that purple. Wear a nice purple tie with that or something. Be stunting on people. So again, Brioni and the this is wool and can't read it upside down. Crazy. Wool and 
ten percent, no five percent cashmere. So we just got a sniff of cashmere on this one, just a sniff. And this one right here, nice little blue pattern, really nice. This one had a cracked button right there. I'm not gonna fix it. I just list it. One of the buttons on the cuff was chipped. You can see right there that one is kind of chipped. Um, this is a wool and silk blend, but once again, Brioni and uh, this is wool and oh no, 100% wool. It's really nice, nice color blue. Nice jacket, all nice patterns. And here's another jacket. Probably a more bland plat pattern we've seen. It's like a dark blue check here. And this one is our friend again, Brioni. So I got all this stuff listed. All this stuff's listed. All this stuff's ready to go. Um, and this is a wool and silk blend. So really nice. Doing well. Listing, listing, listing. Find high quality stuff. Go out, find it. It's out there. Anybody got any questions? I'll let you guys know. But um, I mean, give you whatever answers, but that's it. I don't got any more stuff for you. Got nothing else. Nothing. But uh I'll make a video in the next few days, a sales update video. I haven't done one of those in a month or two. Maybe we'll show like 20 or 25 things that we've sold. Had some really good sales. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> a sniff of cashmere. Uh, Stephen Seth, do you guys bother to take them to the dry cleaners or were these clean though? All of these were clean for the most part. A lot of a lot of the stuff. You know, a lot of stuff is clean for the most part, especially higher end men's stuff is clean. It comes from the cleaners. It sits in somebody's closet and then they donate it. Like I think it was College Picker said once, people usually donate from their closet. They don't donate from their hamper. You know, it's not like they haven't cleaned anything and they're like, eh, I don't feel like cleaning this. If something needs to be cleaned or there's a stain on it, um, I'll get it done like this shirt, this white shirt was dry uh, dry cleaned because it was had a little bit of yellowing on the back and it actually came out. It was three bucks to dry clean. Really not that big of a deal. Um, I think the suit was like 15 bucks, but it's a, it's a Brioni suit. If that little, it had a little like mark on it, little, little mark on it on the bottom. And I think if it comes out, it's a lot better, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll take the little bit of a what do you want to call it? like I'll, I'll pay a few hours extra to have it dry clean if you're gonna sell something but most of the time jackets and stuff like that are dry cleaned or unless they're just like somebody went crazy and threw it in a ball and had it in the back of their car forever you know so for the most part um, that's how it goes. Yeah, that was that was the most. I, I think only a, one of the haul that I ever come across like a bunch of Brioni before, like shirts and pants and some jackets and a suit. So, you know, I, I and every once in a while I'll come across one piece here or there, like every three months. So to come across a bunch of pieces in a few days was really cool. So uh, it was nice. Um, how much do you usually pay for a suit? Most suits by us are $15. Salvation Army could be more or less. Sometimes they price them as low as 6 bucks. Sometimes they could be as high as $30, $40. Just depends on what they think they got. Um, and then... Um, try to think. You know, some of the smaller thrift stores can be all over the place. So um, you can see right here, 
told you guys before that that linen pair of Hugo Boss, I counted off at the guy and I, he took the counter offer at 44 bucks. So 44 plus 6.99 shipping, so $50. That really doesn't come up, does it? See it from here. <laughs> no, it's even worse. So, I mean, just putting stuff, selling stuff, and moving forward. Trying to go after more high-quality things. So, um, you know, we've been I've been focusing, as you see, more on suits and sport coats. Shirts in general around us. I mean, like, regular shirts like these. I don't usually like to pay more than 5 bucks for any shirt. So a lot of our thrift stores are starting to price things up a little bit too high. Savers, Salvation Army, their shirts are more than that. I can't, I, I just business model wise, I can't, I can get a suit and make six, eight, ten times my money versus a shirt and make two or three times my money. So, um, you know, that's how that is. Um, how much would you have paid if it was at a state sale for that Brioni? It depends. Uh, the last estate sale we were at where we scored really well, I think we paid $200 and we got maybe 40 pieces of clothing, in, in, including a Brioni tuxedo, which I still have listed. Like I said, some stuff does not sell all the time. And we also had a Louis Vuitton lightweight windbreaker we got in that and, and a bunch of other suits. But, I mean – a lot of times, state sales, men's wear is overlooked. Women's wear is priced up. I don't know why that is. Men's wear most of the time is overlooked. Um, and you can get usually fairly cheap. I was happy with the Celtics in general yesterday. Low county trader. I was I was impressed with them last night. I mean, their two top players weren't even playing that great. And they were really doing well. Um let me see here. What store did you get most of this? Uh, red, white, and blue thrift. I don't know what red, white, and blue thrift is. We only have Salvation Army, Savers, and Goodwill. And we have a bunch of uh, smaller church thrift stores on the Cape. I don't know if it's just here or other places have that, but we have 13 towns, and there's probably 30, 35 small church thrift stores on Cape Cod. So if you really want to go from town to town, and try to go to them. You can go to them, but they don't usually get donations all that much. It's either hit or miss, but a lot of cheaper stuff at those donations, at those church thrift stores for the most part. Um, I find Brioni literally once every three months, probably. I could even remind and remember the last, the last Brioni I think I found was a was a sport coat probably three months ago at the Goodwill. And then before that, I found a few in upstate New York. And then before that, Orlando. So haven't really been finding a lot of Brioni. So just one guy donated stuff. You're at the right place at the right time, and you score. I mean, it's just pretty cool. Um, you're getting these on Posh. I haven't really been doing Posh Mart. I'm really not um, – I haven't listed anything on Poshmark in a few months, probably since like the start of summer. I may start listing stuff on Posh again. I may not. I really, I don't know. I'm a one platform kind of guy. Like clothing, I just want to sell on eBay and move and and just like push forward and just try to sell as much on one platform. I, I wasn't really getting that many offers on Poshmark and I, I kind of hate going back and forth. Like uh, Jim Butler there, he does like six platforms. I could not, I could not keep all that straight. I could tell you one hundred percent. I mean, he does really good job selling and putting the stuff on all different platforms, but I can't. It's not me, um, and that's what makes all this reselling fun because you can do different things that work for your. Um, your thing. We do Amazon a lot too, and a lot of Facebook stuff. So, I mean, clothing is mainly just on eBay, but everything else 
you know, we, we do sell th certain things on Amazon. We sell certain things on Facebook. We sell certain things on, uh, to Facebook groups and stuff like that. Like I get vintage advertising. I already know who I can sell that for probably when I get it and pick it up. And I don't li need to list it on eBay and worry about fees and worry about this and that. I can just sell it to somebody and most likely they will send me the money, PayPal, friends and family because we've done business in the past. Sometimes I can sell it to someone close to me and get cash. So for me, it's all better. Um, You know, so I, I like I like just selling certain things on certain platforms, and that's it. Like, if I get video games and stuff like that, always go on Amazon. I actually got to send some stuff in Amazon. I've been collecting stuff for a few months. I've been neglecting Amazon. And I, I like Amazon. I send a bunch of stuff in. It sells. Usually, I get a really nice month. And then also, it's like I look in there, and it's like, oh, you only got 27 things listed. And, you know, and you send in 100 things, but most of the time stuff sells fairly quickly when you do FBA. So it's, you know, it's fun. But, uh, I did hear about, I did hear about the uh, platform. I mean, Poshmark going international. I think that's pretty interesting, but, um, I really, I really just don't like that platform. I, I just don't like, I don't know. Just me. Uh, have any suggestions and getting autographs authenticated PSA used to be the company to get that stuff done. Um, I haven't done anything like that in a good 10 plus years, but, uh, you might want to try PSA cards and see, I know it just depends. Um, depends on who the player is too. If it's a really good player, it might be worth getting authenticated. If it's not, it might not. And I know they charge per player too. So if it's a multi-sign thing, it might um, cost a little bit more. But last I remember, it was like 20 bucks, maybe. I might be out of touch on that one. You might have to check the website. But uh, check PSA and uh, come up with that one. Uh, da, 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 eBay only for me. eBay rocks. I love eBay. I wish they'd get it. You know, I, I can't see how... Poshmark, though, shipping is so much easier. I, I can't see how eBay can't figure that out yet. But uh, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Uh, do you still collect old signs? We do. I have a lot of old signs still. But they're in my storage unit. We're looking at getting a warehouse by the end of the year. So um, We've been looking. There's a place that's available, but I don't think it's going to be available the January 1st. There was another spot that I was interested in, but needed first and last security, and it was also $2,900. It was 4,100 square feet with a 600-square-foot office, I think, a bathroom, which my wife was very happy with. Had a big roll-up door, also had a loading dock. But I could not talk my wife into that $2,900. The loading dock was kind of what I want to move forward into something different. Um, so you could figure out what I'd need a loading dock for. But... uh didn't work out too much money to shell out up front. I mean, it's looking at first, last security, and then needing certain other things. I probably would have been eh, 12 grand in the hole. And then move everything in, get situated, and guess what? That next rent would have been hitting you right in the mouth within a month. So uh, my wife is probably right on that. I have to listen to her sometimes. I didn't listen to her in the last warehouse. It bit me in the ass because it was a total freaking shithole. But, uh, da, da, da. so, I mean, hopefully this stuff will start selling. I already sold the pants. I sold one of the suits earlier too. Uh, one of the, help me out here. What was the name of that person again? Sold one of their suits for good money. Isaiah. Isaiah. I'm already having a $500 a day on eBay today, so, I mean, it's great. Just keep moving. Uh, follow us on Instagram if you're not there, Heart Pickers. 
Uh, hopefully, I'll start sharing some more stuff there. But like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, later this week, um, I'll get a sales update video out for everybody. See some of the stuff we've been selling. But uh, see you guys later. Have a good day.